Hello everybody and welcome to episode 9 of Pathfinder with Isai. Um, we're building our base in the void world that I created. Infinite expansion, we need room to build. I want to make something that looks half decent. Half decent is the keyword here, not decent, half decent. Alright, which one's my detail? So right now we're just creating a little path out to it because I want it to be fancy. Though honestly, I've never been the best at creating things in Void Worlds. I usually need like a place to build it like on the ground, but we're giving it a shot. And right now we should be smelting up some iron because I wanted to create a iron chest upgrade for we can have a little bit more space to store our stuff. We plan on using this world as our actual base, so space. But until... how oh, Actually, what do we need for a redstone furnace? Do we not have redstone furnace? Yes, we do. Redstone furnace requires the same stuff it always has. Copper, which just used just, just, just to be cold, some gold. Stop moving around. And then a basic machine frame. Come on. Basic, basic, basic. Resonant. Fine. We'll just go down the tier. Just some glass, some tin, and some iron. So, thank God they did not make those things harder. Because we'll need some pulverizers, some furnaces, and a way to generate power, which I'm thinking we're just going to use a good old furnace generator. Because we get a decent amount of coal. And until... In fact, we may just use that forever. Because if we can get Project E um, generation up, we're golden. For now, though, we probably need to make some charcoal. Oh, we have regular coal. What am I talking about? We'll make some torches. Are there better ways to make torches, I wonder? T-O-R-C-H. No. Carpenter's torch? We may do this. Um, carpenter's torches can be textured, but they seem to be a heck of a lot cheaper, honestly. Screw you and your balancing mechanics. I don't need none of that jazz. You can just make carpenter's torches. Why do I make... Why do I have another one? What do we want to do? This is going to create, what, eight sticks? Yep. Yeah. That's exactly what we wanted. One in the middle. Five. Heck yeah. Tons of torches now. And we can actually make them look cool. So, for example, carpenter's blocks and torches allow you to retexture anything. So now this doesn't look that great. Nah, expect it to look a bit different than that. Ooh. Eclipse! Fancy. However, in this case, what? Um... Do we need a hammer? You didn't used to need the hammer. What? I can't break them. That worked. Oh! You have to hold it down. <laughs> That's so silly. Alright. So apparently it takes on one of the block properties. So if we put stone here, it looks kind of strange. Let's we'll see what looks good. I'm thinking... Planks might look good. Yeah the same but darker. Come on. It takes on whatever properties and block you put into it. We can make it look like an ore marble maybe. That's not too bad. It looks like candles though if we do that. We can chisel it. Hmm what do we want to do? I'm starting I really do think the dark wood planks look the best so far. So yeah, we'll just go with the dark wood planks for now. However, we need to make this whiter real fast. Oops. Boop, 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 boop. Hey. No. Turn this cobblestone back into cobblestone aligned and cobblestone bricks. We should probably make an infinite cobblestone setup soon, but I don't know. I really wish we had some lapis. I th we might have some somewhere. Can we make it? Lapis, or maybe we can use some like blue dye in, in place of the world interaction upgrade. Lapis, how do I get you? 126. Seems legit. <laughs> Alrighty, what we got? Nope, no way to make it as far as I can tell. It's always smart to check the recipes before you go crazy and like try to do a billion different things and go out of your way to do something that 
really wasn't really required because I I've, we've done that before. Remember, we uh didn't even look at the recipe for uh what was it called? The dimensional transmitters and receivers and ended up just like not making them forever when we could have claimed a quest reward like forever ago. Well, but let's be serious, quest rewards really aren't that fantastic in this mod pack. I haven't really gotten anything worth a crap. Other than just like a wooden pickaxe and a flint one at the very, very beginning. This is a good path. I approve. Though I would very much like to make iron bars, but I don't want to waste them in iron. So, we might be making a trip on back to the Pathfinder to gather as much stuff as possible. But real fast, I think we need to create some iron chests. Strong boxes. How expensive are those? Those are really easy to... A string. Strong. Strong boxes are really easy to pick up and move. They don't have very much inventory, though. Hardened. Reinforced. Eh, wait, we can use fuse quartz, can't we? That's a little bit easier to make, but we don't have nether quartz. Hmm. Resonant. Stronghold corridor? Vanilla generator. 48 items. What? No idea what this is. We could create a null catalyst, I think. Or is it like null slash dev? Yeah, we might want to make one of these for cobblestone. What this does is it holds, you can place a single stack of an item inside of it, and whenever you pick up any more of that stack, it just automatically voids it. I think. That's what, how it was explained to me, at least. This is done, by the way. This is fill. Give it to me, don't fall in the void. I'd hate you forever. I'm just envisioning, envisioning what we're going to do with this. If we're going to want some glass, we're going to want... Uh, we're gonna want glass, we're gonna want iron, we're gonna want... Do we want iron bars in this? I think we should do some interesting stuff with iron bars. If we can chisel iron bars. Woof. Woof ears. Okay. Iron bars. Yeah, we can do some cool stuff with iron bars. Do we want iron bars, though? Because I think we might be able to make stuff with cobblestone walls. I don't know. Aesthetics. I know I'm not looking at any quests recently. That's because I've got more fun things to do, like build. It's not all about finishing the quest, you know? It's about having fun. I'm starving to death. I don't have any food. I have nine wheat. That might be enough to keep me from dying. <laughs> food. Food is a problem. Once we get, like, a basic room, we're going to have to automate food. Alright, we got tons of food, I forgot. But this only lasts so long. And what do we need to make you into, like, some half-decent dish? Uh, broth, a bunch of stuff I don't have. Flour, broth. I mean, broth is easy. Stock is easy, I mean. But meaty stew. This should be very good. Three. And by very good, I mean three, apparently. We should probably make stock. Stock is easy. Just the pot. In fact, we'll do that. Right now, I don't think it's very, very important. Like, we're not... We've got food stored up. Several different types. We'll be alright. But, what were we doing? We were going to grab things and bring it over. I think I only need a few things, so... Let's go back to the Pathfinder. You got power. You got power. We got the generator. We don't have a fuel source. Gosh darn it! Did we bring wood? A little bit. Is that enough? Please have enough power. You do not. Balls. We probably have enough stuff to get there again. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, you know what? We had some stored up. 77,000. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That is plenty. Hooray. Just dump a few more planks in just to be sure. Alright. What were we getting here? We were getting some, I don't know, metals that we needed. Put that in a bag. Or, why not? Head in the bag. Dirt. Dump it in the bag. Let's just go ahead and grab the crop things. We 
probably do need to grab some sand somehow. You know what? I don't really like the idea of transferring dimensions too often, because it is costly, and it costs stuff we don't have, which is power. What I can. That's good. Mod is intended to be peaceful. Mod pack. This is actually, honestly, all we need. You're nowhere near charged, but you got tons of power, right? Mm. Am I reading this wrong? This is 30,000, and this is 200,000. Yeah, I was reading that wrong. Alright, so you do need a little bit more fuel. Too cold. Will that be enough? Satisfy your unending lust for power. Mm. I'm just going to grab as much as I can for now. Alright, we have two chests. We'll go there. We're just trying to move everything that we may need over there. We're just going to basically use the Pathfinder for... Um, dim light creation and dimension management because the, if since we're building in a void dimension we can't actually just take this out and head back that won't work so which means we can't exactly move this unless we somehow made a copy which then that would be really strange it's possible but it's not really something I want to deal with we'll just use this for creating dimlets not creating dimlets creating worlds please be above 20,000 no 200,000 my bad 200,000 It may be good to make blaze rods. How much? Okay, let's check that out. Because blaze rods are a pretty good fuel source, and I think they're cheap from what we saw. Yeah, block of redstone, a bowl, and a stick gives you three. And we got tons of redstone. What's their EMC value? 1,536. 507. 76. That's a potential dupe glitch, but we won't abuse it. How you doing? Eh, that's a little too sketchy for me. <laughs> Burn more wood. It's not like it's valuable or anything. Don't need anything out of here. Please organize the way I like it. Why is that doing that? Sure, whatever. Toast. Give me that. No, don't need it yet. Hmm. Aluminum ore. Better take that, man. Don't want to miss out. Can we do something with this? See, single item crate. Chest. How do you make it? Why would you want this? I can understand some automation setups where you want like a buffer of a single item. Might be a... That's actually not too... Un that It's not actually that... Pointless. That's what I'm trying to say. It's got some useless. Make sure that's dialed. You are recharging. One connected screen. You're just monitoring the power usage. Open module. Do you have energy module? Let's do energy cell. Hey. Doesn't say. Let's do energy cell. Looks like a creative energy cell to me. Are you past 10,000? Eh, just get a little bit up there, please. Like, uh, maybe like 2,000 more and I'll be safe. Hmm. Alright. We'll come back when this is charged up enough for me to feel comfortable going through. Okay, we're back. And it's all charged up, so let's go through. Oh, I think it's down for the void world. Maybe. Possibly. Alright, we're here. Still smell things in beef. Should have space for some of this junk. Click, 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 so much clicking. Just... There's a generator. Dump as much as we can, which is only gonna be like three stacks of stuff. Go here, see if we can stack any of this. Yes, we can. And place them in the chests. Boop, boop. And fill it up. And then we'll go through and see what we need to actually hold on to us. On us. String, there, carpenter torches, yes. Alright. So, first off, we want to grab our chisel. We want to keep that on us. Chisel, keep on us. Uh, second, we're going to try this. We're going to try, our st we're gonna try the, the blaze rod thing. Because if we can burn the blaze rods in the sterling generator, which was in 
here. It's actually a pretty viable power source. So let's interrupt this real fast. Interrupt. So we're going to get a block of coal, block of redstone. And we're going to make... That was a recipe, right? Wooden bowl. I would not have guessed. Considering we were creating fiery blaze rods. Really? Alright, there we go. Wooden bowl. Let's try that again. We got a bowl, we got redstone blocks, and we got three blaze rods. Did I introduce this episode? I think I did. I don't know. Nine blaze rods. These should burn longer. Generates 20 RF attack. I don't know. Maybe. What else do we need blaze rods for? Ender chests, ender tanks. That's all 19 pay. Oh! Need it for ludicrum. Ludicrum blocks. Enderium blocks. Eh! Not over plenty uses, actually. That's, that's actually encouraging, because that means I don't feel bad for burning it. Enchanter. So, enchanting is pointless, because I realized a while ago we actually don't have an enchantment bar. So, that's, that's, that's something to keep in mind. So, we do have to use blaze powder for the... What the heck? Solus? Souls? Some pretty interesting blocks we can build with. Keep that in mind. Alright. We have open computers, right? Hologram projector. I actually have not played with open computers. I look forward to it. That produced a significant amount of power. So we're just going to put the rest in and generate a surplus. So, what are we doing? That is an eclipsed red moon. Alright. We are going to build. Build the things. The stuff. So first off, I'm going to create some fences. Do we have colored fences yet? I think they came out in 1.7. No, that's it's gate. Nope, no colored fences, unless there's another way to do it, which there is with saws, but I don't really feel like doing that. Fence. All sorts of insanity that I don't feel like dealing with. Because you have to, like, fences are crafted from microblock materials. Yes, you have to, like, cut up the pillars and the things, and I don't really want to do that right now. So we'll just use regular old boring fences. You know what? Use cobblestone walls. How about that? They're cheaper. Technically, I think. Alright, we'll go ahead and just do walls in general. Alright. Eh. Alright, we'll do it. Just thinking. Alright, we'll do cobblestone walls. Cobblestone walls, cobblestone walls. And then... On the ends of it... Place... Carpenter. Oh, are you kidding? You can't place carpenter torches on top of walls. You can place normal torches on top of walls. That's lame. So lame! That's actually kind of disappointing. This will still light up stuff if we put it there, right? Just like <laughs> light from nowhere. We could do that. We'll do that. Light from nowhere. Get our... We're running low on cobblestone, aren't we? So that's frustrating. Alright, we'll probably create a cobblestone gin soon. If not, immediately. Because we'll need tons of it to build. Thank God for chisel. Otherwise, we'd be building out of just regular cobblestone or wood. Because that's the most abundant material in this entire mod pack. Wooden cobblestone. Because it depends if we created a nice world. So actually, that was ended up being plenty, plenty of, plenty of walls. I almost fell off because I was holding shift. With carpenter's torch there. Carpenter's torch there. And we'll build the house now. I think. Need more cobblestone, of course. Except we're gonna use a different material for the floor of the inside of the house. What do we gonna use for the floor? I'm thinking gray frequency cobblestone. Oh, let me stretch. Okay. Light gray? We can't call we can't chisel it again once we chisel it into the color. See? 
Oh, you can now. They fixed that. Good. So let's use gray frequency cobblestone. That always makes a pretty neat looking floor. Of course, only 16. Wow, this has generated a lot of power. It's got four left. Alright, so blaze rods. Way to go for now. Hmm, thinking, thinking a lot, because... We gotta make a pretty sizable base. But we gotta make it look decent. Like, I'm not really gonna build, like, a floating mansion. I'm not, like, a super builder, but... I wanna make something that looks neat, I suppose. Usually I don't really get inspired about what I'm building until I'm actually, like, super into it. Like, I just think we can build, like... I don't see ourselves doing a fancy roof, because we're not... We're not, like, capable of flying yet. So maybe we'll make a neat-looking tower. Like a sky tower. Two, three... How wide is this? Well, it should just be three, four, five, right? Just start it off symmetrical for now. One, two, three, four. I'll tell you what, it's refreshing actually being able to record an episode. Last episode, I've just like spent so much time mining that like <laughs> didn't even record anything. Well, I did. I ended up recorded just as much as I always record, but it just didn't feel like I was. Rec I felt like I recorded like three hours worth of footage, and it was only like. 30 minutes, like always. So, let's we'll see what we need for a transfer node. Uh, it should just be pretty simple. No, I don't want it. Energy pipe will probably be easier, right? Energy pipe. Just redstone and stone slabs. Alright, so we'll build a transfer node real fast. Uh, I'm thinking, what other ways do we have to make infinite cobblestone? We have a Ignis Extruder. No. Oh. Let's just type in Extruder. That's significantly more expensive, and it's slower. So this is fully charged, and it's got two blaze rods left. I'd say that's a pretty successful test. So we may head back to the other dimen the uh, farming dimension slash mining dimension to both grab some food and um. We get some lava because we're gonna need that for cobblestone. We could just make a manual cobblestone, but that's lame. Why manual when you can automate? I'm also gonna. I was checking the other place for lapis, wasn't I? How else can I create blue dye? I think any blue dye might work. Doesn't have to be lapis. All right, I'm gonna do that one more time just to make sure we have enough. Eight nine. All right. Not a whole lot of progress on the base so far. What have we done this episode? I don't feel like we've done anything yet. Figured out how to make blaze rods. That's what we figured out how to do. We're also going to make a... You know what we can do to make this exciting episode? We'll try to make a, vo a, a world that has glowstone in it. So we can make a... Uh, Philosopher's Stone. Because right now, I believe we can make cobblestone, perhaps? I'm not entirely sure. But a Philosopher's Stone would be extremely useful. I want to be able to get more cobblestone easily so we can build with it. Because that's our most inhibiting factor right now. In fact, we have to keep transferring dimensions if you want to make something half decent. And that's my goal, to make something half decent right now. Right, let's go ahead and try to do the floor plan for this real fast. We're totally out of cobblestone. Alright, yeah, we gotta we gotta figure out the cobblestone situation. So, putting building on hold until we can figure out how to get like basic resources. Oop. Get repositioned. Hmm. Thinking. Thinking, 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 thinking. We'll grab our bucket. We'll make a new bucket. Maybe. We need one more iron. 
In fact, we'll make two more buckets. That way we can have enough water to make a source block, like a source. You know what I mean, Vern? All right, we're gonna wait for this to smelt up, make some buckets, hop back into the farming world, grab some water and some lava. Uh, try to make find a way to make blue dye and see if that works for the interaction updates. And then we'll go back to the Pathfinder. We'll grab that barrel that already exists. Actually, you know that's a waste of power. We'll just make a new one. Blue orchid. What can we make with you? No, it's not worth. Light blue. That blue dot. Bye. Alright, well, we'll be right back. So, I'm here mining obsidian, and I just thought of something. This world is not actually being powered right now. So, that's a little concerning. It's very possible that this world will collapse at any moment, because there's no power going into it, right? That's what I understood from the, uh, from the book, that there's just a buffer of power, and that we need to monitor it somehow. So that means we should spend very little time here. So what were we getting here? What were we getting? We were getting... I got some obsidian. I got some water. I got some lava. That should be enough to make a basic setup. Is there anything else we need to grab? I remember there being a dimlet place up on top of a mountain that I did not check out. And I want to actually get more dimlets. It was up over here, I think. And screw that thing. We'll go to that island eventually. But for now, we just got to figure out how to not die in this area. And it could happen at any moment. Like, I'm glad I thought of that, because that's kind of important to remember. <laughs> How are we supposed to power multiple places at once? Are we supposed to create multiple of those creation things? The Dimlet place is way up there, I believe. It's covered in snow, that's why you can't see it in the mini-map. Alright, so let's head up there, get it, get whatever Dimlets are inside, and just get out of here quickly. And just go back to the Void World, which is being powered right now. I grabbed some obsidian in case we wanted to make open block tanks or something. I'm not sure. We should also grab some sand if we're really being serious. But this isn't for another time. I'm guess I'm, I think we should probably make one of those monitors, right? And that way we can see how much power the dimension has. And if it's low, hop on back to the pathfinder, charge it back up, because apparently it uses relatively little. Uh, there it is. Relatively little power to maintain, but more power to create. So, one thing's for sure, we should not be visiting that wood world without it being acts like powered consistently, because that wood world is um that the wood world with the cobalt is very power intensive because I used a specific block. What is this? Dimensional blank block. Can we do anything with this? Oh. What's this? Digit 9. Eh, make some things, I guess. Not really too interesting, I'll be honest. Alright, what we got here? Yellow sky color. I mean, had that before. Sky bright day dimlet. Not really sure that's very useful. Unknowns material silver ore. That's neat. Unknown dimlet and unknown dimlets. Alright, that's what we're going to get out of this place. So we're going to head back real fast. Alright, we're charged up as we're going to get. Let's go home. Actually, let's make sure this is void, right? Farm, void. Yep, we're good. Back to the void world. Please don't kill me. Okay, thank god. We're actually 3,000 more. So here we are, back in the void world. Alright, not sure what that little crash was about, but we're back. And we're back in the void world. There's nothing here. Because we haven't built anything or done anything productive this video somehow. I don't know how. But... Our goal for now, I did not find a way to make blue dye, unfortunately, but maybe there's a different way to make transfer node. Like, I don't know why lapis is so rare. Why did, oh, we needed a world interaction upgrade, that's the problem. World. And as far as we found, there was no way to create lapis. Just double checking. Transmute it. No. Not that I can tell. Oh, maybe blue wool. I mean, <laughs> that could work. Alright, for now though, what are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? Organizing. Organizing our inventory. Oh, I don't know what to do. We'll just have to make a vanilla a vanilla cobble gin. That'll be a lot of fun. Hopefully we don't ruin it and make 
Um, I haven't been so long since I made a vanilla cobblestone. That block with the cobblestone. Right? And then we go up, up. I probably shouldn't be using dirt, but we don't have anything else right now. Up. Up. Lava will go here. Flow down. And then we'll have a water block there. Right? That's how we do it. Well, it's one way we can do it, I should say. Let's try it. No. Well, that works. It just flows places. So. This one works, right? Yep, it works. This is why I hate vanilla cobble gens. It's like a 50% chance you actually get your block. Yep. Yep. Alright, I guess we're going to be here for a little bit. And we're back. And this is the little platform we have going so far for the, for the uh, base. Uh, we've got ooh, just kind of like a T-shape for now. I'm going to make like an entrance way, you know, maybe something fancy. And what the plan is to make this a bit thicker. I don't have enough cobblestone right now. Completely out. Make this a bit thicker and then make wings down the side. Well, not actual, like literal wings. I, as you can tell, there's villages here too, by the way. Oh, make some wings down the, the left and the right side. In the middle, fill in with dirt and put farms there. But that's pretty much going to wrap... Artichoke. It's not bad. That's pretty much going to wrap up the episode for uh, this time. E episode 9. Ooh, hello Elvis. Jukebox. We only need one. Plus it'll probably respawn. Anyway, this has been Isai. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, between we next this, this episode and next, I'll probably do some work on the base. Get the basics up. And then decorate it a little bit on camera maybe. Ooh. <laughs> that was close. Well, anyway, yep, uh, it's been Isai, and see you next time.